Hello and welcome. In this presentation, we'll create a secondary vNIC for an Oracle Linux 8 instance in the Oracle Cloud infrastructure. You'll see where to get a helpful configuration script file, how to create and configure a secondary vNIC in a Linux instance, and how to delete and remove the secondary vNIC from the instance. The Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Console displays details for an Oracle Linux 8 instance. This instance was created in Availability Domain 3 and on a private internal network. Scroll the screen to show the attached vNICs. This option was selected from the Resources menu. Bring up a terminal with an SSH session connected to the instance. Enter the command IPADDR and see the devices displayed include the loopback and a device ENS3. The device ENS3 is the primary vNIC. Every instance created in the Oracle Cloud infrastructure includes a primary vNIC, and for many instances, you can add secondary vNICs as needed. Secondary vNICs are supported for Linux and Windows guests and can be configured on most instances, regardless of shape. However, different shapes impose specific limits on the number of secondary vNICs. See the online documentation which provides the maximums for each shape. Clear the screen, then return to the console display. To add a secondary vNIC, click Create vNIC. The Create vNIC interface appears, and in this demonstration, start by entering a name. The name is optional, it does not need to be unique, and you can change it later. Here, I enter SM-08 dash zero two. Select the VCN from the menu of available VCNs. A secondary vNIC can be on the same VCN as the primary vNIC, but it is not a requirement as long as it is on a subnet that is in the same availability domain as the primary vNIC. For this demonstration, I want this vNIC on the VCN 10 network, which is an internal private network within our compartment. Keep the normal setup, which is subnet. There is only one subnet configured that spans into Availability Domain 3, which is VCN-10-04. The term regional in the name reminds me that this subnet services instances in Availability Domains 2 and 3. You can choose to use network security groups instead of the security lists on the subnet VCN. If you do, check this box and select one or more security groups. By default, every vNIC performs the source destination check on its network traffic. The vNIC looks at the source and destination listed in the header of each network packet. If the vNIC is not the source or destination, then the packet is dropped. However, if the vNIC must forward traffic using Network Address Translation, or NAT, be sure this option is enabled to skip the source destination check. Leave the primary IP information inputs blank and they will be automatically provided. Click Save Changes. The vNIC shows up in the list of attached vNICs for this instance. After a short time, the vNIC state changes to Attached. Now it is time to complete the configuration. In this demonstration, we pull the configuration script from the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Documentation website. Currently, the Documentation for Virtual Network Interface Cards, or vNIC, is displayed. Here, click the link, Linux, Configuring the OS for Secondary vNIC. Then, scroll to find the link to the script. Click the link, then save the file locally to the Downloads directory. Bring up a terminal window on the local machine, and with the ls command, make sure the file is here. Now, enter the command to copy the file to the instance using the secure copy utility. Enter scp space minus i space slash home slash oracle slash dot ssh slash id underscore rsa dash o two c dash o l v space secondary underscore vnic underscore all underscore 
configure.sh space opc at the internal private network IP address colon slash home slash opc slash. The file copies quickly after pressing enter. Now connect to the instance from my local machine using the SSH utility with the command SSH space minus I space slash home slash Oracle slash dot SSH slash ID underscore RSA dash O two C dash O L V space OPC at the internal private network IP address. Clear the screen. Enter the command on the instance ls-l to see the script file. Currently it is not executable, so enter the command chmod space plus x space secondary underscore vnic underscore all underscore configure dot sh. Enter ls-l again and confirm that the setting has been made. Clear the screen. Instead of running the configuration script, there are two other ways to complete configuration of a secondary vNIC and make the configuration persistent. This demonstration uses an Oracle provided Oracle Linux 8 instance. As an Oracle Linux 8 instance, you can use the Network Manager CLI or NMCLI utility as demonstrated in the presentation titled Using Network Manager CLI NMCLI on Oracle Linux 8. Alternatively, use the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Utilities or OCI Utils on any Oracle provided image built with Oracle Linux to configure a persistent secondary vNIC. This option is demonstrated in the presentation titled Network Interface Management with OCI Utils for an Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Instance. Return to the SSH session and enter the command IPADDR. The secondary vNIC appears as device ENS5. There is no IP address assigned to it. To configure the secondary vNIC, enter the command sudo space dot slash secondary underscore vnic underscore all underscore configure dot sh space minus c. The minus c option configures the vnic. The OCID and IP address appear in the output along with a note about a routing rule for the VCN. Clear the screen. Use the command IPADDR and see that the device ENS5 now includes the IP address. Deleting a secondary vNIC from the console automatically detaches it from the instance. You do not have to delete secondary vNICs before terminating an instance because terminating the instance automatically includes deleting all secondary vNICs. However, if you need to deconfigure the secondary vNIC but keep it, use the shell script and the deconfigure option. Clear the screen. Enter the command sudo space dot slash secondary underscore vnic underscore all underscore configure dot sh space minus d. The result displayed shows the configuration has been removed from the interface ENS5. Clear the screen and enter the command IPADDR. The result shows the device and the device no longer has an IP address. Return to the console. To delete a secondary vNIC, click the small vertical ellipsis to display management options. Click Delete vNIC. A confirmation window appears. Click OK to continue. Within a short span of time, the vNIC state changes from attached to detaching, and then the vNIC disappears. Return to the SSH session to the instance. Enter the command IPADDR and the device ENS5 is no longer present. For additional Linux learning opportunities, 
visit the Oracle Linux Learning Library at www.oracle.com slash go to slash Linux Learning Library. Training for the Oracle Linux Cloud Native environment provides presentations on cloud native technologies. See www.oracle.com slash go to slash Linux Cloud Native Learning and see the home for all of Oracle Cloud infrastructure documentation at cloud.oracle.com. This ends the presentation. Thank you for watching.